Hello and welcome to this video. This is an English version of the same uh, video with the same content which was posted in the Malayalam language. So this video basically introduces uh, the free and open source software Jamovi which can be used as a very viable alternative for proprietary data analysis software uh, such as SPSS or Stata. So what is Jamovi? Jamovi is an easy to use free and intuitive open source software, uh, which can be used for statistical data analysis. Jamovi is built upon uh, the programming language called R, which is uh, uh, supposed to be one of the most powerful platforms for uh, statistical data analysis. R itself uh, is a, uh, being a programming language. You need to learn a bit of coding to uh, manipulate uh, data with R. Uh, Packages like Jamovi make it much easier, giving you a point and click uh, interface. Jamovi provides an, a lot of functionality by the provision of, uh, you know, adding new modules for specific purposes uh, of, of data analysis. It also gives you life management of data so that once you make changes to your basic data, the results also go get updated accordingly. You don't need to, uh, run the analysis again and again, which, uh, you know, when the data changes. Uh, to get Jamovi, you have to go to www.jamovi.org and there's a page for a download page from which you can download Jamovi. For most users, we can go for the solid version, which will be, uh, which is recommended for most users, which will be the most stable one uh, with, with, uh, with, with, with no bugs uh, uh, almost. And the current versions will be the latest one, which uh, with, with, which will have the latest, uh, you know, some of the latest features, but it may not be as stable as the solid version. So for uh, for the more curious ones so who are, uh, you know, uh, advanced users of softwares can go for the current versions. And for all the others, we can, you know, for, our, for all other users can uh, stay with the solid versions. Uh, the interface of Jamovi has uh, two, uh, two panes, two, two, two major uh, areas. One is where the data appears, which is a spreadsheet uh, interface, uh, you know, the, the row and column interface, which we have all seen in many softwares, including Microsoft Excel or Spaces and so on. And the right side of the pane, pane uh, uh, of, of the interface has the area for results, charts, output, et cetera, from which, where you can see the outputs and copy the output and all. Uh, it is somewhat different from uh, the other softwares like SPSS where, uh, you know, these are presented as two different windows. And the default menu layout of uh, Jamovi has three main menus. One is data and then uh, one is analysis and analysis and the uh, third one is edit menu. Uh, the analysis menu has exploration options for uh, descriptive analysis, charts, etc. Uh, there is a t-test group of tests, there is ANOVA group, there is a regression group of tests, and then there is a frequency group of tests, and there is a factor analysis group of tests. And uh, most of the new modules or analysis uh, options that you install to Jamovi will appear to the right side of these. The data menu has uh, uh, basic data manipulation functions such as cut, copy, paste, uh, computation functions for computing new variables, Transformation for uh, transforming uh, the existing variables to, you know, such as uh, converting age to age group, etc. Uh, it has also uh, got function for adding and uh, deleting new cases and new uh, variables, new rows and new columns, basically. And the edit menu is uh, mostly for the formatting of your uh, results. So you can edit the results, text of the results, such as the table, uh, you know, table captions, tables, uh, table, uh, you know, uh, titles and all. You can add footnotes or additional data. All those things can be done using the edit menu. And in the latest version of Jamovi 2.0, there is a, a new menu called the variables menu, which right now gives you uh, an option for, for giving description of the variables. And we hope that more uh, functions will be added to the variables menu in the coming versions. And you can always add new modules to Jamovi using the Jamovi library, which is available at the right hand up corner of uh, the, the interface. You can install new modules for uh, specific functions such as scatter plots, 
or for doing me you know meta analysis or for uh, some behavioral uh, you know some behavioral sciences analysis uh, for specific purposes there are a number of uh, such uh, packages available to be installed using the demo v library and we'll see how to add data and the basic data preparation we'll see a presentation first and when we go for the uh, some live data so this is where you uh, open or import or save uh, the jmov files from the uh, uh, the main menu on the left side top uh, corner of uh, jmov window in the open menu you have uh, an option to uh, locate your files from your pc or from a data library the data files the type of files are supported uh, you know basically jmov files are supported it supports csv or comma separated value files uh, open document ods files excel sheets spss files our data files and the files from other softwares like stata ss or jsp jasp also and there is an import menu also uh, import menu is uh, somewhat similar to the open menu one major difference is that in using the import menu we can open multiple excel files together and if they have the same column structure they will be stacked one upon the other so that you don't need to manually combine excel files uh, from different sources before uh, you know uh, importing them to jmov you can you do that uh, using the import menu itself it, it may not be you know of use to most uh, users and once you open the data this is how it is shown on the spreadsheet side of the left side of the interface you can see that the names of uh, variables are uh, uh, you know can be seen and also the type is seen from the symbols along with the variable names so we can see that in in this example there is a there are two variables which are nominal and two which are scale variables we will we'll see them later and there is a transform option uh, for data transformation which uh, can be done by selecting a, a, a specific variable and you, uh, using the transform option or double clicking on a new column and giving the uh, instructions for the transformation uh, we can also edit some of the details of the variable such as uh, the type of the data can be changed from nominal to ordinal or uh, continuous to nominal and etc uh, we can change the data type of the variables you can specify levels of variables for example if you have three groups one two three and you know they represent three academic streams uh, arts commerce and science uh, we can we can specify those in the levels uh, area of the, uh, of the of the variable menu and we'll see how uh, you know independent sample t test can be done in jmov for that we have to go to the t-test menu and select the appropriate t-test for this example we will be taking the independent sample t-test so we'll select the independent sample t-test and we supply the dependent variable and the grouping variable and select the type of test that we need to use and once you do that on the right side you can see the t-test table with the results uh, the t-statistic the degrees of freedom and p-value and we uh, you know uh, de decide on, on on whether to reject the hypothesis or not based on this p value and there is an option for uh, normality and homogeneity also a, a number of options are available with the t test menu itself uh, we'll try to see that using uh, uh, some live data on what, what are the options available so here is uh, how the uh, menu will look so for the, doing the t-test we have to uh, so this is what i said when once you double click on a variable you can see all these functions to you know, change uh, the data type or uh, the, the the type of measurement specify levels and all these so if you have uh, you know sex as a column here and you have uh, two levels so the one and two are the values uh, are, that are there in this column so you have to specify uh, one as uh, uh, probably female and two as male so you just have to type it there and once you do that it will be changed and, and you can see the numbers also or whenever you want so to do the t-test you select the t-test menu and select the appropriate t-test uh, so i select independent samples t-test so once you select the test uh, a blank result column is uh, in, uh, available here so we select the 
dependent variable. So I have selected no sleep task, uh, which is a task time as a dependent variable. And we have to see whether there is sex difference, a significant sex difference in uh, task completion times. So I select sex as the grouping variable. So once I select both these, the results are available on the right side. So we can see that the statistic is 1.17 and the p-value is 0.256, which is uh, much above uh, the cutoff, the normal cutoff value of 0 0.05. And we see that there is no significant difference between these two groups based on uh, you know, on, on their, uh, you know, a task completion time, whatever the uh, independent variable there is. Now we can change the status type from this menu. We can, uh, you know, go for the mean differences. We can do homogeneity tests and normality tests on the data. So once you select the test, the results will be available on the right side. You can go for effect sizes, whatever uh, results uh, that we need are all available on the right side. So this is how we do independent sample status using uh, Jamovi. And for doing one-way ANOVA test, we select the ANOVA group. And from the ANOVA group, we select which is the test that we want to use, whether it's one-way ANOVA or repeat measures ANOVA, the factorial ANOVA, two-way ANOVA, etc. were all given the ANOVA menu itself. Uh, just as in uh, the other example, we use, we choose the different variable and the grouping variable, and the results would be available on the right side and uh, it will be having a uh, p-value, the, the f value for the ANOVA and all. And you have uh, the options for sh you know, showing additional stats, such as the descriptive tables and the plots of the descriptives. So the descriptive plots will uh, you know, tell us better you know, in a visual manner on how the groups are different from each other. And this is how the descriptive table will look like. And the density plot is here. It say, shows that one group is significantly different from the other two. And we have the options for post hoc tests for ANOVA as well. So for, for equal variances, we have the two key test. And for unequal variances, there is a games hovel test. And uh, the other data, including test results uh, and uh, you know, the mean differences, et cetera, can also be uh, shown in the post hoc results. So this is how the post hoc results will, post hoc test uh, results will be shown in Jamovi. So we'll see how to do that using some uh, live data. We'll have to open a file data file for that first. So when you see, you select the open menu, you have uh, the, the frequently open files. So the recent files are, uh, shown in the open menu itself. Otherwise, you have to go to the browse option to select your data file. So uh, it will be shown uh, you know, as with, with a blank uh, result screen once you load the data. So you go to the ANOVA menu and select the one-way ANOVA option. And you select the dependent variable and the grouping variable, and it will show the results on the right side. Right. So you have a, a p-value which is less than 0 0.001, which says that the differences between the group, the three groups is significant. And to find the significant or which groups are different from each other, we go up for the post hoc test and we select the two key test. So once you select the Doki uh, test, it will show the post hoc results as a table. And if you want the you know, significant comparisons to be uh, you know, uh, shown with the stars and all, you flag the significant correlations and you can see that the uh, significant uh, differences, significant comparisons are flagged using three stars, which will mean the difference is, uh, the p-value is less than 0 0.001. So that's how we do the, uh, one way ANOVA test in, in uh, Jamovi. So we can see that uh, a number of other options are also available in the ANOVA menu itself. Now we'll see how to do correlation and regression analysis in Jamovi. So for that, we have the regression group 
uh, menu in which we have correlation metrics, linear correlation, regression, and partial correlation, and the logistic regression uh, options as well. So uh, for the correlation metrics, you have to select which are the two variables between which you have to see and look for correlation. And once you select the variables, the correlation metrics will be shown on the right side with, uh, you know, a very uh, intuitive uh, result. Uh, layout you can see which you know we can see the whether the uh, correlation is significant or not and you, have, you have, can have the correlation plots as well and there is also the linear regression uh, results which are available where you can select dependent variable and uh, the covariates and the factors for each and it will show the uh, those results as well we'll see that with some live data now So for that, we have to open uh, a new file. Uh, so we'll go for a file where we can have you know, data for correlation analysis. So we'll see uh, whether it can do a regression analysis a correlation metrics. But you see that the year is uh, given us uh, uh, an ordinal variable here. I'll just see whether uh, it will show me a, a correlation analysis. Yes, uh, the correlation matrix is uh, uh, shown here, the correlation between year and distance driven. And since we are so used to, you know, having stars in SPS outputs, you can flag the significant correlations and it will show you the significant correlations with a three star, two star or one star based on your uh, level of significance or conference levels. And you can see the correlation metrics here. It may take a, a bit of time to, yes, it, it's there. And you can change the type of correlation you have to use, whether it's a Spearman correlation, Pearson or Kendall store correlation. And in the same menu, we can go for the linear regression as well to see you know, the predictive power. So, uh, so I'm taking distance as a dependent variable and here as a covariate of it. And the uh, regression results are also uh, you know, uh, provided here. So that's how we do a correlation and regression analysis in uh, Jamovi. In fact, I'm not going deeply into any of these analysis because this video is supposed to be an introduction to Jamovi. Uh, we'll see whether uh, you know in the future whether we can we can use we can we can come up with uh, specific videos on 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 each of these analysis. You know how to do them, how to choose the right analysis, and uh, how to interpret the uh, results of those analysis. Such videos can be thought of for a later time. So uh, this is basically about how to do uh, regression and correlation analysis in in Jamovi. Jamovi also gives you a lot of other options such as frequencies and item analysis. Uh, so the frequencies you can have one sample proportion test such as you know, uh, binomial test and the chi-square goodness of it. And also the chi-square test of association uh, for, for the association between uh, you know, uh, categorical variables. And uh, the basic item analysis options for reliability analysis and uh, principal component analysis and even complementary factor analysis is available in the factor uh, menu of uh, Jamovi. And for exporting results, we can either select all all the output from from a single uh, you know Jamovi uh, project or a specific analysis or a group of results or even a, a single image. When, when, when it's a plot or something, you can select any single image. Otherwise you can select a, a table and you can copy it or you can uh, you know, export it to uh, you know, other formats as well. Then this is the team behind Jamovi. They are the same team, almost the same team, which uh, developed another software called JASP, JASP which is more uh, you know on the, on the on the bayesian uh, statistics and uh, you know you, they can you can contact all of them uh, over various you know forums uh, even including twitter and there is a very vibrant forum uh, where you can raise your doubts where you can give suggestions to the developers and most of the time the developers themselves will uh, respond to your queries as well and to get more resources on jamovi you can go to the Jamovi website itself, where they have 
a resources menu where with the user guide and you know uh, community resources and testimonials those kind of things are there as i said you can also ask questions uh, to the developers themselves there's also the data lab data lab.cc website which gives a lot of information and tutorials on jmovi and also on other uh, uh, resources as well data lab.cc has their own youtube channel also which has a number of videos on how to use jmovi for various purposes there is also this awesome book called learning statistics with jmovi uh, which is free to download from from the given website learnstats with jmovi.com the book is written by daniel j navarro and david j foxtrop both of them are professors uh, and uh, uh, and the book basically you know uh, takes you through the entire uh, process of statistical analysis and teaches you statistics with the help of jmovi so this was uh, about uh, the free and open source software uh, which is called jmovi which can be used uh, it can be learned much faster than some other uh, you know uh, proprietary data, data analysis software and can be used and it is uh, improving itself uh, by the day so we hope to uh, come up with more videos on specific data analysis uh, you know uh, using the jmovi in in the coming videos thanks for watching